I'm sorry, but I genuinely feel like a Disney princess in this dress. Yeah. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we are gonna be trying out some more ASOS wedding dresses. I absolutely love doing these videos because personally, I love playing dress up, but I am still on the hunt for my perfect wedding dress. There is so many of you guys asking for videos like this and you're also wondering when am I actually gonna get married because I've been doing these videos for about two years now and you guys are still waiting on the official day. Trust me, if I knew that day, I would have told you guys but to be honest with everything that's going on in the world right now our wedding plans have kind of been cancelled over and over again initially we did want to get married abroad specifically in Bali but that is just proven way too difficult so we are actually considering other places now so who knows maybe the wedding will take place this year maybe it'll be next year but I will keep you guys in the loop but I do really hope that these wedding dress videos are helping some of you guys or just entertaining you guys at least if any of you guys watching this right now are getting married this year or in the near future comment down below I'd be really interested to know if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before hi I'm Roxy welcome to my channel if you guys want to stick around make sure you guys subscribe down below but if you guys want to see some of these wedding dresses from ASOS that are really affordable being put to the test then without further ado let's get on into the video okay so if you guys have seen any of my other ASOS wedding dress videos you might have seen that all of the boxes usually come so freaking big so this is just like one dress however this time around only one came like that in its own big box but the rest have just come all together in a bag I guess I'll start off with the big box one because I feel like this one is the special one okay so here is the box and what it looks like for anyone that hasn't seen these videos before basically it says ASOS bride and it is just so well packaged I'm pretty sure you get a dress in this kind of box when a dress costs about 250 plus on ASOS so let's Let's crack it open together. Oh my goodness, this is what I see. The good thing about the dresses that come in a box is that they do actually have their own dust bag. So that's perfect for traveling and just making sure your dress is nice and clean. I'm so excited to see which one this is because I feel like I found some really awesome ones on ASOS this time around. All right guys, so this first dress has actually fallen off its hanger. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like, like this. Oh my freaking god, as soon as I saw this dress, I just knew I had to try it out. So this dress cost me £250, which I feel like for a wedding dress of good quality isn't actually all that much. Ever since I got engaged and started to realize how expensive wedding dresses are, I really appreciate ASOS because they actually have really decent dresses, but they don't break the bank. I mean, just for comparison, an average wedding dress in the UK costs between, you know, a thousand to three thousand pounds. So £250 isn't all that much in the grand scheme of things. Anyways, this is what the dress looks like. I love the bardo effect. Honestly, that is such a gorgeous feature of this dress. It does actually have a sleeve as well, which is kind of unusual, but I'm actually really digging it. So that's what the top looks like. It's then just got a zipper at the back and then the rest of the dress is pretty floaty. But I have to say, the fabric that this is made out of is so thick. It definitely would need a steam before you wear it because it is kind of prone to creasing. But it looks freaking ginormous. The train, I feel like will be quite long as well. So I guess let's go pop this on and see how it fits. Oh my God. Can we just talk about this dress? This, I'm sorry, but I genuinely feel like a Disney princess in this dress. What even is this? This is so beautiful. I actually can't get over it. I feel like something like this would be perfect for a cold wedding. Like imagine having a winter wedding. You're not cold because you've got the long sleeve. You are literally so covered on your legs. Not only is this fabric thick and heavy, but it is warm. Like I am actually warm in this. First things first, let's talk about the top half of this dress. I am just in love love with it. It is so elegant. It looks so classy. The sleeves are so beautiful. They're like the perfect length. They actually have little zippers as well so you can get into them easier. The off the shoulder moment is perfect. It does actually have little straps that kind of holds it up but I'm sure it would work without them as well because they are removable. This is what it looks like without the straps. I'm not too sure which one I prefer but this one is staying up pretty well all on its own. I feel like this dress is giving me a lot of shape because this area here is so 
exaggerated. It then cinches and pinches you in at the waist and then it comes back out. Dare I say it, I actually really love this shape of dress. I'm usually more into mermaid style dresses, but this is really nice. Also, this is what it looks like from the back. I haven't actually been able to do it up all the way because I literally can't reach. This is what the train looks like. It's actually fairly long. I love it. It's not too long though. Honestly though, when I tell you guys this dress is heavy and good quality, it honestly is. Like I am so impressed with the fabric. And also I should mention that the dress does have that slit in the middle right here, but because it doesn't start too high up, I feel like you'd never get exposed with this. So yeah, this is the first dress. I'm obsessed with this. I honestly don't know how any of the other ones will top it, but I'm loving this. I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10. Moving on to the next wedding dress we have is this one right here, which doesn't look like an awful lot, but I'm actually really excited for this one. This is from a company called Lace and Beads, and this one was actually really affordable, even more so than the first one. This one was only 150 pounds. This dress is basically all about the tulle. It is so freaking fluffy. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Wow, look at this. Okay, I got this in a size eight, but I'm not too sure if I'm actually gonna fit it because look how tiny and narrow that looks. So this dress, you could wear strapless, but it does actually have tiny little straps as well, so it's up to you. On the front of it, it does have this rubberized strap attached to it so that it doesn't like ride down or anything. Also on the back, there is a little like ruched kind of panel just to make it a little bit stretchier, so hopefully it should fit. But the main event of this dress is all the two layers. Is that how you say it? Tulle or is it Tulle? I think it's Tulle. It is so freaking gorgeous. It's got like two, no, it's actually got three tiers of it. I absolutely love the fabric that this is made out of. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too itchy and scratchy, but let's go put it on and see how it fits. Okay, so here is the next dress and what it looks like on. I have to say, I really, really liked this on the website, but now that I've got it on, I'm not so sure. First of all, it's actually quite a short dress. It doesn't even reach all the way down to the floor from what it looks like. And to be honest, the heels that I've got on aren't even that high. I'd consider myself quite short. I think I'm like five foot four or five foot five. But yeah, this dress is just a little bit short on me. Also, I just want to point out that when I said that this dress had straps, I actually was wrong. The things that I thought were straps are just the little like dress holders so that they can stay up on a hanger. This dress is in fact completely strapless, so this is how it's supposed to be worn. Now when it comes to the layers of the tulle, as you guys can see, it's pretty much just one piece of fabric. The under layer does not come out as far as this does. It's basically just going straight down. You can't really like hold it up like this with the rest of the tulle. So to me, that kind of looks a little bit disconnected because you can see all of this like see-throughness right here, but there's no underlay underneath it. With that being said though, I do really, really love the tool effect. I think it has a lot of movement and if you were to dance in this, I think it would look fabulous. But would I wear something like this to my wedding? Probably not, personally. I just think it's not really the right dress for me, but I do think it's really, really stunning. So I think out of 10, I'm actually gonna give this maybe like a six, six, five, probably a five. Also, I should mention that the fabric of this one is kind of itchy under my armpits, so that would literally be a nightmare on your wedding day if your dress was like itching you the whole time. Moving on to the next wedding dress, we have this one right here, and this is from a brand called AQAQ. This is a one shoulder fitted maxi dress in white. This was reduced from like 130 pounds to 95 pounds, which I feel like is a bargain. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, so I would say this is slightly more suitable for like a subtle wedding. Maybe you're just going to a registry office or something like that. This would be perfect for it. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. I mean, it looks a little bit see-through. I'm not gonna lie. I'm hoping it's not going to be, but this is what it looks like. So it's got the one shoulder strap. It then has like a little sleeve armhole kind of thing. I would say that the shape of this is kind of like bodycon and fitted. So I'm hoping it's gonna fit me. And then on the bottom, it has quite an extreme slit. For 95 pounds, I feel like it's a really good price for what it is, but let's go try it on and see if it's see-through. I'm hoping it's gonna be fine. Okay, what are we thinking of this one? I love this one so much. The silhouette is perfect. It's literally snatching me in all the right places. First 
first of all, I just think the silhouette of it is so freaking elegant. I love the neckline. I just think it looks so nice and chic. I was a little bit worried that the shape of it would be a little bit baggy around like my belly area, but it is so nicely fitted literally everywhere. The length is perfect as well. The slit is really nice. I just love everything about this. I didn't think I would love the neckline as much as I do. Like I said, this dress would be perfect for like a small or subtle wedding if you really just want like elegance, but nothing too crazy. Just so you guys know, I'm wearing a nude bra underneath this and some seamless nude underwear and I feel like you can't see anything. It's like one solid color. There's no see-throughness. So yeah, for the price that we paid, which was like 95 pounds, honestly, this is such a cute wedding dress. I would really recommend this one. When it comes to the looks and appearance of this dress, everything is ticking the box. But the only thing that I should mention is the fact that because this sleeve is kind of like going over your arm. It's a little bit restrictive of your arms. So just by any chance, if you wanna use your arms on your wedding day for dancing or whatever, just know that this is as high as they'll go. But apart from that, I love this dress. I think it's so stunning. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Now the next dress we're gonna be trying out is another affordable one. This is by ASOS Design, which is their own brand. I feel like this is actually kind of a trendy wedding dress because it has the whole hold to neck vibe, which I'm obsessed with. This one was really inexpensive. It was only 48 pounds, which I just feel like is so awesome. If you have a budget set and you don't wanna spend a lot on your wedding dress something like this would actually be so good oh wow look at this okay I like this it's giving me Marilyn Monroe vibes for some reason I don't know why anyways so this is the front I think I'm not gonna do it much justice but it's got like the whole to neck vibe and then it also has a little choker going around the neck like this it looks so freaking fancy it then has like this weird drapey thing on the side which I think is kind of cool I feel like I'm not doing it any justice of how it looks by just holding it up because it's quite an interesting shape but I will pop a photo on screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about but basically the shape of the bottom is kind of like a slight mermaid trumpet kind of dress it tapers in at the bottom and then it kind of fans out ever so slightly I do wish that the chest area had like cups in it or something because it's literally just the same fabric that it is all over but I suppose you could wear some like sticky cups underneath this or something but let's go try this one on and see how it looks okay so here's the whole to neck dress this is absolutely gorgeous from the top half the bottom half is a little bit questionable I really thought I would like this dress and don't get me wrong I absolutely love anything bodycon like this it's even got the ruching across the belly which is my absolute favorite but the only thing I'm not sure about is this thing right here I just don't really know what to do with it I don't think it's really doing anything for the dress let's just for a second imagine it wasn't there I mean that looks better, right? Perhaps if you got this dress, there might be a way to get rid of this by just taking it out and then stitching the dress back up. Also, if you're tall, this dress probably won't work for you because it is quite short. Like I'm already on the verge of having this dress be an ankle swinger on me. And like I said previously, I'm not really the tallest girl in the world. So I'm kind of surprised how short this is on me. With that being said though, I do really, really love the dress. I mean, the quality of the fabric is nice. It fits really, really well, especially around the boob area. Area. I think the ruching across the belly looks really interesting and then I love it from the back as well As you can see the whole dress is completely backless and I just love that so much I think it looks so classy, but yeah, that's the dress I mean for 50 pounds or however much this is not a bad deal like this is a really nice dress I just wish it didn't have this and I wish it was a little bit longer then it would be perfect So overall, I think I'm gonna give this dress like a 7 out of 10 and now moving on to the last dress We have this one here which is by a brand called True Violet. This one was 120 pounds, so a little bit more, but I'm hoping this is gonna be worth it. This one is another little off the shoulder moment. I love dresses like this, especially for weddings because they just look so classy. So as you guys can see, the over the shoulder sort of fabric is quite thick. It goes down quite low and then the dress basically just fans out everywhere. It's so flowy, it's got a lot of movement. At the front, as you guys can see, there is a slit and it is kind of like shorter towards the front and longer towards the back. This is a really 
simple yet elegant dress and it wasn't expensive at all. So let's go pop it on and see if it was worth the money. And here is the last dress. As you guys can see, this dress has so much movement in it. I just love the fabric it's made of. I do have one complaint though already and that's the fact that the dress is kind of falling down. There's really nothing holding it into place. It doesn't have that rubberized kind of band across the chest that most of the dresses do that are strapless. And that is a big issue because I just feel like it's not tight enough. If I fully relax my arms, it literally just falls down so low. Also with this dress, we have that same issue of just having restricted arm movements. I actually feel like this is as high as I'll be able to lift my arms up and that's even worse than the other dress. But if you're just standing still and you're looking elegant, I feel like this would be a really nice dress and I just love the fact that it's quite like asymmetrical in the front versus the back. This is what the dress looks like from the back. I think it's so stunning. I feel like if I sized it down with this dress, this part here might have been a little bit smaller and tighter and therefore it probably wouldn't have fallen down. As much as I love the silhouette of this dress, I'm gonna have to give this a five. I just feel like with the way that it keeps falling down and having to adjust it, it would be so annoying on your wedding day. So I don't think it would work. All right guys, so that was all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing these ASOS wedding dresses. We had quite a varied price point range in this video, which I feel like is really awesome. We had the really expensive one all the way at 250. And then we also had the one at literally 48 pounds, which I feel like is incredible. Let me know which one of these dresses was your favorite and whether you would wear any of them to your own wedding. I feel like my favorite dress was definitely the first one. It was so beautiful. If you guys wanna see any more videos like this, whether it's wedding dresses, prom dresses, or anything alike, let me know what videos you wanna see in the future on my channel in the comments below. I definitely have a lot of cool videos planned for the future, so make sure you guys stay tuned and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video as always, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.